I've had some troubles with the parrots helping themselves to my broad beans. They have finally moved on and I'll be harvesting the remaining crop to preserve and cook for dinner tonight. Broad beans are part of the legume family, which means that they have the ability to capture nitrogen from the atmosphere and fix it into the soil. Legumes also add lots of lovely organic matter, so I chop and drop the spent stalks and foliage into the ground. I also add them to my weed bins. In these bins I add non-invasive weeds that have been pulled out of my garden and foliage from spent plants. I then use this organic matter to help build up the garden beds that are looking a bit depleted. I layer on any composted organic matter and then add a layer of hot compost and then cover with straw. This creates beautiful soil full of life. To freeze my excess broad beans, I just peel off the outer pod, leaving the second layer on. I add these to soups and curries. If I eat these beans fresh, I always remove the second skin, as it can be bitter and unpleasant. I find once cooked in something that they are unnoticeable, so I do not bother with this step. I then place them in a zippy bag and put them straight into the freezer. There is no need to blanch them. Tonight for dinner, I am trying something new. I am making fresh broad bean falafels to serve in homemade wraps with hummus and a Moroccan inspired beetroot salad fresh from the garden. To make the falafels, I add to my food processor or Thermomix an onion, two cloves of garlic, two cups of washed spinach, two cups of broad beans that have been potted. I have left the second skin on for ease. A quarter cup of parsley and mint, the rind of a lemon and one tablespoon of juice, one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, one and a half teaspoons of ground coriander, salt and pepper to taste, two chilies or to taste, and half a cup of chickpea flour. I made my own by grinding dried chickpeas in my Thermomix. I use my hands that I have wet with water to form the falafels, which I will shallow fry in some tallow. You could use coconut oil instead if you want to make this vegan. Next I make my hummus, a chickpea and sesame dip that I will make a bit thinner to use as a sauce. To my Thermomix or food processor, 
I add my cooked chickpeas, garlic, lemon juice, tahini, olive oil, chili, and salt and pepper. I need to taste it and add more lemon juice and seasoning if necessary. I will also thin it out with some water if it is too thick. Next, I prepare the salad. I need to go and harvest all the ingredients from the garden. I need beetroot, but if I don't have enough, I'll add in some mango wurzel. It kind of tastes like a cross between beetroot and carrots. Carrots, garlic, lemon and oranges, spring onions and coriander. I'm going to make this in my Thermomix, but you could grate and slice everything, but I'm going for ease and speed. In my Thermomix or food processor, I place my washed carrots and beetroot and mango wurzel, minced garlic, the juice of one lemon and half an orange, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of ground coriander and salt, and half a teaspoon of sweet paprika and I pulse it all gently until it forms small pieces. I tip this into a bowl and mix through finely chopped spring onions and coriander and a handful of pumpkin seeds and my cooked freaker. Lastly, I prepare my wraps. This is the easiest recipe and they are delicious and chewy. In my Thermomix or food processor, you can also do this by hand, I place 500 grams of flour, a pinch of salt and, and enough boiling water to form a smooth dough. Be careful as the dough will be very hot, so allow it to sit for a few minutes. From here I roll them out into thin discs and cook them in a dry and hot frying pan, turning them once golden. All this delicious food created from my garden with a vegetable that can seem intimidating and disgusting to some. Broad beans are so easy to grow and are the perfect winter crop. They make an excellent green manure too. Why don't you give them a go in your garden? I hope you enjoyed this recipe using beautiful produce from my garden. You can be so creative with what you have. I had never eaten mango wurzel before I tried it in this recipe and it was really delicious. That is what I love about growing my own food. I can plant all these different varieties, different colors, different shapes and different sizes and I can learn how to cook with them and feed my family with them. Before this year, before coronavirus hit, I had never heard of mango wurzel before, but I saw it on my seed catalog and decided to give it a go. And it was really surprising at how delicious it was. I think I prefer it better than beetroots in salad raw. But I'd love to know if you've ever grown broad beans before and if this recipe has inspired you to grow them, try them, and try them in a recipe that you may not have ever thought of using before. If you would like more content like this, please let me know. And don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram where I post daily about our adventures here on the farm, about things I harvest and plant and trade. So if you'd like more content, 
head on over to Living the Dream Permaculture on Instagram. I've left all the links to our social media and website down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. What's for dinner? Falafels. Falafels? <laughs> Bean burgers. Bean burgers. <laughs> Bean burgers. Bean burgers. <laughs> Bean burgers. Okay. <laughs>